In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I made this samurai sword project. To make a samurai sword, I first started off with some extra sheet metal that I had laying around. I had some extra time after I finished my sculpture projects for my sculpture class in my college, and I had the resources, so I decided I was going to make a sword. I really didn't have a reason, but I wanted to make one. Um, so I started off by using the plasma cutter, and I had plasma cut the sword shape that I wanted. Um, we have a lot of resources at my uh, college, so I once I had that piece cut out with the plasma cutter, I just went right over to this grinding wheel um, and threw on some gloves, safety glasses, noise protection, and then went right at, right to work. Um, the only thing with the sword, I didn't, I couldn't really make it super sharp because um, I, we didn't really have super proper equipment for like forging or anything like that inside like the uh, the shop class. Um, but we do have grinding wheels, so I, uh, but I wasn't about to go for like hours on end just trying to make a really sharp sword. My goal was to make a sword that was aesthetically pleasing that I could hang up on my wall if I wanted to. So I just wanted to do this for fun and it was a lot of fun doing so. I did make a rhino uh, inside uh, my uh, sculpture class and then once I was finished with that because I was finished early, um, I was working on the last video that I posted which was my shark sculpture. I was working on that wood sculpture but had some extra time um, and so I did a sword real quick. Um, right here, I just made a handle. Uh, I didn't really have a plan for the handle, but it ended up working out. What I did was I made like a dowel, I guess like a circle dowel. I cut that from a block that was just a cut off piece of the shark sculpture I had made. And then I put when I went to work and grinded that one down too. Um, along with my thumb, I grinded uh, a lot of my thumbnail, uh, the, the nail of my thumb. I grinded that with the, um, the sander, which was kind of annoying and dangerous, but whatever. Um, I got it done. I got the uh, handle thinned out and done. It, I will say, looking back, I do wish I got the handle a little thinner than this. I wish I had cut it down a lot more um, because it's a really chonky handle once I had painted it and once I had um, applied some paracord, which you'll see later on what I did to the handle. And then I made a guard, like a hand guard, and I had used the scroll saw to cut a hole out of this circle that I cut out on the bandsaw. <clears throat> I really used a lot of the bandsaw and the sanders um, and for this project just because it refined the pieces out pretty well. And then for the handle, I had cut the dowel that I had made. I cut that in half, um, and then I used the Dremel because my plan was, and it ended up working out, was to Dremel out enough to put the... I wanted to Dremel out the wood that was the absence of the metal, if that makes any sense. So basically, I'll be putting the metal inside the two pieces, the two dowel, uh, the dowel, and then um, gluing the handle together. For the sword, I also wanted to make a sheath. Um, and the only way I had on hand that I could do that is um, either plaster or paper mache. Um, plaster was really messy and had to harden, and I really wasn't too, super confident with the plaster idea. Um, I didn't know how that would act on the metal, um, so I went with paper mache. I do think, looking back, I do wish I had, like, if I really wanted to, I should, I, I, if I have a nicer quality sword, I think I would use. Um, I would use epoxy and uh, fiberglass. Uh, it's a little bit more pricey, but it gets you a way better result than paper mache would because paper mache, um, you can still see the imperfections within the sheath or the cover for the sword um, just because it's 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 newspaper. It's, it's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. Um, but I did try to sand it down a little bit before painting it, um, but then I just went ahead and I painted that all black. And you can obviously see uh, some of the newspaper, uh, but I tried my best to cover that up with some sanding and some acrylic paint. I used uh, Gorilla Glue for the handle and that worked really well. All I had to do was uh, wet the surface of the metal, which was the instructions of the glue, and then I glued the wood and clamped that down and let that sit for 24 hours. Um, one struggle I did have doing the paper mache for the sheath was I had used Mod Podge, uh, which is just glue for the uh, paper mache to hold together. Um, but the only problem with it was that gl any glue, I, I don't think that it mattered that it was Mod Podge, but any glue that I had used um, would end up rusting because of the moisture. Uh, it would have ended up rusting the sword. So as you can see here, the sword isn't that shiny anymore. Um, I didn't really spray anything on it at all um, to stop it from rusting, and so uh, I had taken off the cover for the sword of the sheath, 
and it was just completely rusted. So I had to go back to school, I had to polish that out, um, and I had to sand it multiple times. Um, but I ended up uh, shining it up, and then I'm going to spray a um, anti-rust, maybe like some WD-40 onto the sword, so then it will stop it from rusting uh, long term. Uh, what I'm doing here to the sheath is, uh, when I looked at samurai swords, I wanted to imitate uh, some pretty cool ones I saw. But the ones that I saw, they had a rope wrapped around the sheath. I think, I don't know if that's just for aesthetic or anything like that, but I wanted to do that on mine. It didn't look that great, but I ended up fixing it later, and uh, I do like the, the rope that I used. It was a really thick rope. I also ran to Ocean State Job Lot, and they had some paracord. This was only like $3, I think, for this paracord, the bundle, like way more than I needed. Um, but it got the handle done really well. I just followed a YouTube tutorial on how to do like an axe handle, uh, handle, and then I just put that on the sword. So I was really happy with that. And once I was done with sanding off all that rust, I was done with the sword. Um, I'm really happy with the way this came out. It's obviously not a functional sword. You wouldn't make a sword out of sheet metal. It's just for uh, cosplay. It's not sharp at all. Um, but it's just for aesthetics and uh, props. And I had a lot of fun making it. It was a cool project. As I said, uh, this was a one-day build originally. I thought I would be able to finish this in a day. Totally underestimated how long it would take. But it was totally worth the time, I think. Um, although it's a little janky, the sword is not perfect. Uh, I'm happy with the way it came out and I think it was a lot of fun to, to build. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it entertaining or maybe this helped you with your cosplay or prop design uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.